Hey guys, so I'm just kind of doing my intro here in the car. I just got done with work. It is a Friday. And when I get home from work today, I need to clean. My house is pretty messy. I had a minor procedure done a couple days ago. And so I've been out of commission. Mike and Avery have been off doing things, having fun. And the house has just been forgotten, which sometimes it happens and that's okay. We have dinner already ready and waiting in the crock pot. So I'm gonna get home, we're gonna eat dinner and then I wanna get the house cleaned up and leave a little bit of time to still enjoy my Friday evening. So I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna try to do a speed cleaning and just get going, get it done as quickly as possible possible after we eat dinner and clean everything up and it's always just so nice at least for me personally when you let the house go for a little bit just to get it back in order and get back to where you like it to be so yeah I'm gonna get home do that um, and I think I'm gonna start out I know our sheets need wash I'm gonna get home get the sheet started maybe eat some dinner and then we'll get going so yeah I just wanted to kind of do the intro here and come along and speed clean with me cleaning products I'm using in this video will be linked in the description box below if you're curious as to what I'm using. As you can see, my stove was pretty dirty and I don't think I would ever purchase another glass top stove again. It's 
horrible. So to clean it when there's burnt on food, like I had some today, I usually will scrape off the food first, then I use an all-purpose spray just to get anything off, that, that any food or anything that will come off easily, and then I go in with the big guns. Um, what I like to use is Barkeeper's Friend. It's the soft cleanser, and this will take care of pretty much care of all of the burnt on food. I just scrub it on there and then I let it sit for five to 10 minutes and then I wipe it all off. I've seriously been obsessed with this Method Sea Salt and Lime Spray. It is, I just love the smell of it. And I just love the smell that it puts all over my house when I use it. So I pretty much use it all over my kitchen, all over my house, and it leaves the best smell ever. So clean and refreshing. And imagine a utopia, a darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. To shine up my stove when I'm done cleaning it with the barkeeper's friend, I just spray it with a cleaner that I keep around on hand. It's something I mix up myself. It's Dawn dish soap, rubbing alcohol, or you could use isopropyl alcohol and water. It's just such a great spray that can disinfect, clean, and leave a nice shine when I need it. So it's just great to keep in my cleaning arsenal. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. It was no fun trying to vacuum the stairs with my big heavy Dyson. I love my Dyson, but not that it's big, bulky, and heavy, but that's all I had. I have a stick Dyson vacuum on my wish list, so I hope I get it sometime soon.
I put Avery's clean clothes away that had been folded a couple days prior and then I got my bed all made and I was done. It was ready for the weekend and feeling good about a clean home finally. I hope you guys enjoyed the speed cleaning video. Don't forget to subscribe if you already aren't. I make a lot of videos on cleaning and organization. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.